안녕하세요 여러분, I'm s a m n i d a Hi everyone, Margarita here, and I'm finally back with another Weekly Korean episode. Oh my god, how long has this been? I know you guys have missed these so much. I've missed making these too, so I thought today would be a perfect opportunity for me to talk to you guys about a very, very important Korean topic and a very, very important occurrence that has been happening here in London. that I just cannot come to terms with. It is getting so hot in this country. So I thought I would take this opportunity to talk to you guys about a very important grammatical principle that allows you to express that something is getting or becoming something. Just like the weather here in the UK is getting and becoming incredibly hot. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Basically, we're gonna be adding a or a jida to adjectives to give them a meaning of to become that said adjective. So, 행복하다 turns into 행복해지다, to become happy. Or on the opposite, 슬프다 becomes 슬퍼지다, to become sad. And before we get into example sentences, we normally wouldn't use this in our regular present tense, right? Even when I earlier said, oh, it's getting so hot. I used present tense, but it was a special kind of present tense, which I will get to literally in a minute after these example sentences. So normally we would say, oh, the weather got hot over the weekend, or this guy will become smarter after going to university. You know what I mean? Oh, wow, it is becoming very bright here. I feel so yellow. Sorry guys, the sun is kind of, sort of, setting-ish, so it's giving this room such pretty amber colors, don't you think? My hair looks totally ginger. I don't know how I feel about that, but anyways, I digress. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that normally we would use this either in past or future tense, so the example sentences I'm going to give right now are in those exact tenses. And the first example sentence, of course, you guys already heard, the weather. got hot over the weekend here in London. And in Korean you would say that 런던에서 날씨가 주말에 더워졌어요. 런던에서 런던 plus 에서 in London 날씨가 날씨 weather 가 is a 이가 topic marking particle 주말에 is 주말 weekend plus 에 location or time marking particle, depending on how you use it. I hope my next example is not gonna offend anyone, but I'm speaking nothing but truth, so here it goes. 그 남자는 매일 베스트푸드를 먹었었어 뚱뚱해졌어요. So, this man ate fast food every day, so he got fat. Guys, I'm going through like craving withdrawal right now because I am on this little diet for a very, very important reason, which I will let you guys know about really, really soon. It's incredibly exciting. I just cannot wait to tell you guys. But basically, I've been on this diet, so I'm restricting the amount of fast food or just like any junk food that I can eat. All I've been thinking about is eating junk food and I don't even eat that much junk food. I honestly don't like crisps or chips or cakes or sweets or anything. But when you can't have it, That's when you want it the most. So yeah, all I've been thinking about was fast food, so that's why my, most of my sentences have something to do with the food. So 그 남자, that man, 는, 은, 는, subject marking particle. The man is the one who's doing the action, or the action is happening to him, because in this case, it's kind of like a passive to become action. 매일 means every day. Pest food, literally Konglish for fast food. 먹었었어 is 먹었다. which means to eat in the past, so ate. And then we add saw to it, which gives it like a cause and effect kind of relationship. So because he ate fast food every day, the action of the sentence is what ends up being the effect of that. 뚱뚱하다 is to be fat, to be chubby. 뚱뚱해졌어요 is just a past tense conjugation of 뚱뚱해지다, which means to become chubby. <laughs> Or fat. <laughs> If we want to describe something becoming something else in the future, and this example sentence I also kind of took out of my life because recently I found out my exam results, so like spring term exam results, and I was very very happy because they were really good because I studied. So at the time I was thinking to myself, 우리 성적은 좋아질 거예요. 공부했으니까. 
our grades will be good, or our grades will become good, because we studied. Uri is our. Songchok is grades or marks. Once again, with a unnun subject mark and particle. Chotta is to be good, and then we just add jida to it. So, choa jida, which means to become good, and then we add the future tense. Ulgoya. So, choa jilgoya means it will become good. And then I just kind of add a little extra to the sentence. Gongbu hesunika. Gongbu or gongbuhada means to study. And then I conjugated it in past tense, so gongbu hetta, and then added unika, which gives it a meaning of because of this, as a result of whatever you're adding unika to, something else happened. Lastly, I just want to remind you guys that at the beginning, I actually said that the weather has been getting hotter here in London, so I technically was using present tense. And I don't know if you guys were aware, but in Korean, you cannot use goita or goshipta with adjectives. So the goita, for those of you who don't know, it's kind of like a present continuous form of verbs, but we can't add those to adjectives. You can't be like continuously pretty or continuously tall, but you can become tall in present tense. You can be, be you can be becoming. <laughs> Okay, that doesn't make sense. But you can't be in the process currently of becoming some kind of adjective. So an example sentence for this would be something like 저희 남동생은 거지고 있어요. My younger brother is getting taller. 그다, to be tall. And then 거지다 means to become tall. So there you go. Similarly, you can use this with 거십다. So in the same way as we cannot kind of continuously do adjectives, in the same way you can't really want an adjective in a continuous manner. If you think about it, it just doesn't make sense logically. But once again, you can want to become something. So for me, an example sentence would sound something like 나는 날씬해지고 싶어요. I want to become slimmer. 날씬하다 is to be thin or slim, slender as well, that kind of meaning. So that's something I want to become right now. So that would be my example sentence for wanting to become something using the a o jida. And that is the end of today's lesson. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if there is anything you guys want me to discuss a bit more in terms of Korean grammar or vocab or just anything. I have a few cool ideas coming up, so we're definitely gonna have weekly Korean videos rolling in the upcoming weeks. I really will do my best to make that happen. And meanwhile, I hope you had fun, I hope you learned something new, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day, regardless whether it is extremely hot where you are, or not so hot, or cold, or rainy, or whatever it is. Hope you guys are having the most wonderful time, you guys are amazing, and I have so much fun learning with all of you. Thank you guys for being such a great motivation for me. I love you all, and I see you really, really soon in the next video. Bye! Annyeong!